uh, at lunch and very minimal sugar and no GMOs, I hope, I pray. I don't check the diet that much. But anyway, let's give Greg a big round of applause. Greg Coleman. Okay, everything we do at Trinity Fitness is for time, and so I think I can hit this 15-minute uh, mark we need to because I know that I'm the only thing standing between you and lunch. So, um, what a great morning with Will and Gil and Moika. Great job. Y'all should do a podcast, by the way. Who would listen to Will and Gil and Moika every week talk about health? Yeah, so, so much information there. So hard to work that into such a short time frame. I would not say I'm an expert, y'all. I would say I'm a witness. Uh, what I want to do is share to you guys what I've witnessed in the last eight years at Trinity Fitness. I was born and raised here in Jacksonville. If I could move this curtain, as a matter of fact, I could show you in Avondale where I grew up. I went to Lee High School, played football there. Um, and uh, most of my life still happens in this neighborhood down here. Um, one of our facilities, actually, I can point it out to you, is right there. I love Jacksonville. Very passionate about changing lives in this town, helping people get healthy. And I'm here to tell you that fitness actually is a pretty small part of health. We tell people on a regular basis, they roll into our gym and say, my goal is to have abs. And I say, cool, how do you feel about nutrition? Because that's about 80% of what you're going to do within your health and your wellness. But fitness is an important component. And I'm glad that Will touched on it earlier on, that like a regular fitness regimen is so important to what you do as a supplement. Um, and so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Trinity Fitness. So, so eight years ago, I weighed 320 pounds. I was traveling for work. At my healthiest weight playing in football, I was at 240 muscular pounds. I was a linebacker. I also played a little bit of offensive line. And met my wife, got married, and I gained weight with her with every kid. And I figured out that I could not eat the way I used to eat when I was running and lifting and hitting and exploding and doing all the things that I was used to doing. Everything changed for me. And I had tried all kinds of stuff in nutrition and fitness. I had a membership at Bailey's. I worked out at the Y. All these different things, but nothing ever really stuck. I would have these small gains where I'd lose 15, 20 pounds, start feeling good, and it was very easy for me to slide back into those old habits until I found a community of people to hold me accountable and show me the way. And so I, the first year I was at Trinity Fitness, I lost 75 pounds and I kept it up. Yeah, absolutely. And so nutrition being a big part of that. Our story is a really cool one. Um, our CEO, this started in his garage when his wife said to him, I'm ready for a change, can you help me? And he had started messing around with metabolic conditioning and fitness. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But fast forward two months later, all of her friends want to work out with her because she's lost all this weight. She looks great. She feels good. And um, two months after that, there's 50 people in his garage. Uh, city code enforcement shut him down. They had to move to a park. They had to open a facility. But what we saw happen is what often happens within fitness. The sin of envy crept in. Comparison. Well, how come, how come Gil can jump on a 24-inch box and I can't? How come Will's lost 30 pounds and I'm not? And in that moment, our CEO opened his Bible and gave the first devotion that ever happened at Trinity Fitness and said, guys, we're here to honor God with this body we've been given. And it's a magnificent machine if you take care of it. And so that's where Trinity Fitness was born. Here we are now, 11 years later, we have 15 locations. We're in Hawaii, we're in Colorado. I can tell you more about that, but I want to stick to my time. So our vision is to see healthy people inside and out in every community across America. And the way we accomplish that is we inspire people through group fitness to help them get into the best physical and spiritual shape of their lives. All the time, especially when I'm talking to churches, they say, aren't those two things out of whack? Wouldn't spiritual be more important than physical? Absolutely, but we follow Jesus model. What did you see Jesus do? He always met a physical need first with those people, and then that led to that bond of trust where he could meet that spiritual need. So that's what we do inside the gym. We have a lot of people that will come to us for fitness that would never walk into a church. And so it's an awesome place for us to share Jesus and, oh, by the way, help people get healthy. We are uh, guided, oh, I must not have put it in there, or did I? Okay. We're guided by our core verse, which is 1 Timothy 4.8. For bodily training has some value, but godliness holds promise for all things, both for this life and the life to come. So we tell people all the time, hey, I've got you. You know, the time I've got you and the time you've got on this planet are very short, and I want to help you be as healthy as you can, but spiritually that's more important to us. One of the things that is the big game changer within Trinity Fitness is our community. People absolutely love to come work out there because they're going to be welcomed, they're missed when they're not there. And in the midst of these workouts, which are really hard, there's somebody there next to them saying, keep going. You can get through this. 
We also do a great job modifying. As you can see, we have people from just about every age range that work out with us. I think one of our oldest people is a 90 years old, um, all the way down to uh, 14, and everything in between. All athletic levels, all backgrounds, we can modify for whoever. So a typical Trinity Fitness class starts out with a devotion. We do not jump into a workout until we've spent time honoring God. Our devotions always have scripture because we are Bible-based, we are Christ-focused. But it's always something that has a challenge or an encouragement that would make sense to you whether you believed or not. And so we may tell a quick story, uh, we may share something from the news, and then highlight that with the scripture and finish it with a challenge or an encouragement for that group. We'll say, I challenge you guys today to get closer to Jesus, or I challenge you, or I, I want to encourage you guys today that whatever you're going through, there's someone that wants to help you. And we pray for them. So we start with that. And then in terms of fitness, what we do is called metabolic conditioning. It's become really popular nowadays to call metabolic conditioning CrossFit because they've done a really good job branding it. And CrossFit is great at what they do. They forge elite fitness. They want to forge elite athletes. Um, unfortunately, we have a lot of people that jump into that environment, which is really heavy on Olympic lifting, really heavy on barbell movements, and it's not sustainable for them. We deal with a lot of people who have been injured. Our goal is just to get you in the best shape of your life. So while we do have those implements, we do have barbells, we want it to be something that can be performed over a really long period of time. So we mix together plyometrics, cardiovascular, and some strength training into a really short but really high intensity battle, is what we call it. That's our workout. And so a long workout for us is going to be about 30 minutes. Um, some days we'll spend 15 or 20 minutes on strength and only work out for 10. But in that 10 minutes, you will find that most people get a better workout than they've ever had over two hours of wandering between the equipment at Bailey's, getting on a treadmill or a common bike and doing some of those things. Um, so we, we do, you can see here the different modifications. While Ryan's up there doing a strict pull-up, we've got Cameron over here on gymnastics rings. He's not quite ready to pull himself up off the floor, but we can put him at that angle and work those same muscles. We can provide that modification for just about everything in our gym. Um, we love battle ropes. That gets cardiovascular up, works the arms, all those good things. Um, and then, uh, Actually, John told me he needed me to pull my suit off and make you guys work out, so instead I brought a picture of us from 4th of July doing some ball slams. But um, it, it really is a fun environment. You guys can see we're always working together, which is so critical to us. And one of our other core values is it would be a shame to work so hard to be fit for this world but be unfit for the king. So instead of mirrors, we have stuff like that. Instead of looking at yourself in a mirror and feeding that flesh, we're constantly pointing back to what's the purpose. And then we never leave without praying. We always pause at the end of our class. We take prayer requests. We pray over people. And this is one of the real magical, neat things that we see happen is so many people who come in and say, well, the fitness is great, and you guys are really cool, but I don't believe in God. We're like, that's fine. You're welcome here. We have Muslims. We have atheists. We have agnostics. We have everything in our environment. And then eventually one day they say, hey, could you, could you pray for me? Because I have something crazy going on. And that's our way in to share Jesus with them. And so we have discipleship programs, we have Bible studies, and really more than anything, I want you guys to be aware that we exist to serve, to help this community. Um, lastly, I'll tell you guys, we're a, a nonprofit. We're a 501c3. We offer this style of fitness at about half of what the industry in Jacksonville does. But beyond that, we also have scholarships. So no matter where people are financially, the best that you can get in fitness is available to them. And so we built a really wonderful community. Lots of lives are changing. I could tell you, I could talk for hours about the salvation stories and people who have broken the bonds of addiction and poor health. Um, but more than anything, we would love to have you guys join us at any point, have cards on the table, and a little bit more about who we are. How to do? Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Dr. Skip Alcorn, would you please pray for us over this food so we uh, use this food to nurse over our bodies? Uh, we're afraid to eat right now after all the things we've heard. <laughs> we'll do our best. Go ahead. Lord, we just thank you again.